Hello and welcome to Germany's metropolitan capital city, Berlin. I absolutely love coming here as it's such a diverse and varied city with loads to do and something for everyone. We are currently outside the Brandenburg Gate, the 18th century neoclassical arch built by order of the Prussian king Frederick Wilhelm II after ending the Dutch uprising. Anyway, let's head into Berlin Hauptbahnhof, the impressive and modern main station in the city, which opened in 2006 and is Berlin's hub for high speed and international trains. There is a huge variety of shops and restaurants spread over the station's three main floors, along with a staff ticket office and many automatic ticket machines. There are 10 underground and 6 high level platforms including 4 solely used for S-Bahn services. In total, the station serves around 300,000 passengers per day. We'll be departing from platform 11 on the top floor of the station. These tracks are oriented east-west opposed to the underground ones which are north-south. It's just great up here, super bright and very spacious. The large glass canopy is stunning and there are plenty of info screens and signage in both German and English. The S-Bahn tracks are the last two platforms, numbers 15 and 16, over on the far side from here. Big thanks to Safety Wing for sponsoring this video. Safety Wing provides specialist health and travel insurance for digital nomads. You can take out the policy when you're already abroad and it renews automatically every 28 days. Coverage starts from just $45 per month for travellers aged 18 to 39. The medical coverage includes unexpected and emergency medical care from a worldwide network. The travel insurance covers delays, lost luggage and natural disasters. Click the link in the description below for more information. Once again, a big thanks to Safety Wing for sponsoring this video. Around 10 minutes before scheduled departure, our train pulls in. It's hauled by a Pekka Pe Euro Sprinter ES64 U4 electric locomotive, which has a top speed of 230 km an hour or 143 miles per hour. The train is made up of the following coaches. Four second class, including one open and three compartment, one full-service restaurant and dining car, one first-class compartment car. There is no wheelchair lift built into this train, but there are manual ramps on board and mobile lifts available on the platforms, so speak to staff or pre-booking it is best. Here's the dining car. We'll definitely be coming back here for a meal later on. They're the best ones in Europe. And here's a look at one of the six-seat second-class compartment coaches. Here's our forward-facing airline-style window seat in the second-class open coach. Luggage can be stored on the end of the coach stacks or in the large overhead racks above the seats. Let's check out today's route to the Polish capital.
We leave a couple of minutes after our 0937 departure time. The route to Warsaw is 570 kilometres or 354 miles and it's scheduled to take us 6 hours and 20 minutes of travel time today. The cost of an adult ticket bought in advance starts from the following. First class is 165 Polish Schlotty and second class is 118 Polish Schlotty. I think that is very good value for an international Eurocity service of this quality which links two of Europe's amazing capital cities in an environmentally friendly way. If you want ad-free early access to every video, great perks and to help me do bigger and better reviews then become a channel member from just $1.99 per month. Just click the link above now or in the description of every video or the join button below. Thanks! What I love about taking this route out of Berlin is that you parallel the S-Bahn tracks for much of the way, even passing through the stations as you go. OK, let's check out the seats. The legroom is great, especially for second class. There's an adjustable footrest and a seat back pocket, and the seats are really comfy, well padded, well shaped and have adjustable armrests. There's a small but sturdy tray table on the seat in front of you. Down below is a small bin and one EU power socket per seat. Up above are personal reading lights, coat hooks and the window has really great sun blinds. I think these coaches are great, perfect for Eurocity services and I prefer them to the compartment ones. Which do you prefer? Leave me a comment below. Check out my Germany playlist which is chock full of a huge selection of everything German railways have to offer. It's linked above now. Let's head up to the front and have a look at our loco. Even though they can do 230 kilometers an hour or 143 miles an hour, our max speed today will be limited by the tracks to just 160 kilometers an hour or 100 miles per hour. While we're up here, let's check out the toilets. They're in great condition, all socked up and fully working. Clean and tidy, well done Pega Bear.
and the windows even open so we can get these fantastic train window views. The ride quality is also good, with very little vibration or shaking, even at top speed. Free Wi-Fi is available throughout the whole train. This worked well, even if it wasn't the fastest. 4G signal is also good, once you're out of Germany. Frankfurt an der Oder is our last stop in Germany, and not to be confused with Frankfurt am Main, the mid-German megacity and the largest city in the state of Hesse. Be aware that if taking this train in the opposite direction, the German police board the train here and check all IDs, even though there's no Schengen suspension on this border. Shortly after, we crossed the River Oder, which marks the border between Germany and Poland. Welcome to Poland, without doubt one of my favourite countries in Europe. Zepin is a small border town and major railway junction with a population of just 6,500 people which was founded in the 10th century. Check out my video on Poland's flagship train, the Pekka Intercity Express Premium Pendolino. It's linked above now. Time for lunch, let's head to the Vars dining car. All the meals here are freshly cooked on board by a chef, are exceptionally tasty and good value for a train. I went for the chicken rice and salad, which was 39.50 Polish Lotti. I'll link the full Vos menu in the description below. As you can see, I really enjoyed it. We are soon pulling into Poznan main station, Poland's fifth largest city, which is home to 530,000 people and the most major of our intermediate stops today. It's a beautiful city and well worth a visit, especially to the town square, Grand Theatre, Gothic Cathedral and Castle. I don't believe this train has any dedicated bike spaces, at least I didn't see any, but please correct me if I'm wrong. Leave me a comment down below if you know why and how this steam train came to be here and anything about its history.
It was at this point the air conditioning in our coach decided to give up the ghost, and after 10 minutes of trying to fix it, the conductor said we could move to any available seat. So I found an empty compartment and settled in for the last couple of hours of the trip. It's lovely and peaceful in here, perfect for relaxing in a group or even on your own. Even though we do get up to 160 km an hour or 100 miles an hour at some points, I'd say our average speed was around 130 km an hour or 80 miles per hour, which is a nice gentle cruise through the Polish countryside. All onboard announcements are made in Polish, German and English. Before leaving the train, please remember to take your luggage, personal belongings and take caution when stepping out of the train. Thank you for choosing PKP Intercity. We wish you a pleasant stay and see you again. At the time of filming, Warsaw West Station was, and still is, undergoing a 400 million euro refurbishment to better serve the thousand daily trains that stop here. It's due to complete soon. As we travel the last few kilometres to Warsaw's central station, let me summarise today's trip on board this Pekka Eurocity service from Berlin. I thought it was totally brilliant, great value and even in second class it was super comfortable. Even when there was the problem with the AC, the staff were proactive and helped everyone move to other seats if required. And then there's the fantastic dining car. Along with Czeski Drei in the Czech Republic and ZSSK in Slovakia, Pekka Bay trains are my favourite in Europe to eat on board. Great food at great value. We arrive around 15 minutes late due to some track works, but never mind, it's been a thoroughly enjoyable trip, one that I'd highly recommend to anyone. I'll let you enjoy the train departing in full. Have you been on any Polish trains before? Which route did you do? Leave me a comment down below. By the way, I'm always open to new video ideas, so leave me a comment or a DM on Instagram or Twitter if there's anything you really want to see on the channel. Don't forget to subscribe as I publish a new review every Friday at 12pm UK time. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.